let me introduce you to an illegal food source. Okay, that's a little clickbaity. Actually, it was once an illegal food source. And what is that food source, you ask? It was dovecoats. Now, traditionally, in ancient times, uh, monasteries that needed to feed a lot of monks so they could produce their own food, but who wanted to devote their time to spiritual development, not just farming and surviving, would have dovecoats. Now, what is a dovecote? A dovecote is a shelter, a place of protection for your birds that keeps them safe from predators and also provides nesting boxes throughout the structure for the birds to uh, build a nest, lay eggs, and have babies in. And once they're homed in this, they will fly out over the landscape and they will return having fed themselves and they'll leave eggs behind. They'll raise babies. Now. The reason this was illegal is probably twofold, is that you used to have rulers who would be um, extremely arrogantly prideful if they lost one grain of wheat to someone else because they had to hold on to their precious. So, of course, as any good serf would, who's tired of being taken advantage of, they learned that they could raise the doves, they would fly out over the fields, eat the grain and come back, <laughs> and the serfs would then uh, massage the bird's stomach and milk out the grain that they had collected throughout the day. And then they would actually cook and eat that grain without having had a field, which they weren't allowed to own, and without having raised that food. So. Um, and the second reason is you don't want a serfdom or, or people who are serving your kingdom and doing your work for you to realize they don't need to work for you, that they can be independent and survive better off without you than giving over the production of their labor and their hours, the only currency that they have, their time, to the ruler. If you look at the ancient wisdom of the old builders, they had these cylinders or, or hexagonal structures or bell towers or anything really that was elevated. They had smooth walls that no predator could climb and it allowed the birds to freely come and go as they chose. And it also had a doorway which allowed the, the caretaker access to the structure. So you could open the door and you could collect one of three wonderful products that this provides freely at no expense to you. You could go in, you can rake out the manure, you can compost it and have high quality compost to put in your garden to grow your vegetables. If you're a vegetarian who eats eggs or a normal person who eats eggs, you can then go in and go to each nest box and collect the eggs to eat. As long as you keep taking the eggs, they'll keep laying the eggs until they have a clutch of eggs. If you leave the eggs in there, they will begin to incubate the eggs and they'll hatch out young. And what you'll find is if you're a meat eater, then at about 70% of the full grown size of the bird, you can harvest them and have what they call squab, um, super flavorful tender meat that can be harvested on a regular basis. In modern times, a dovecote is something that's almost completely forgotten. And of course, making aircrete is a very affordable way. Like this little round cast micro house that I built or guest room, you could just as easily build one of these and put uh, landing pegs and entrance holes all the way around the top. And then on the inside of the structure, you fill the entire wall from say four foot and up with nest boxes. Building one of these structures out of aircrete, for example, would be ideal. Take this little micro or tiny guest room that I built. It is round, it's cast in place, so it's super easy to build, it's storm resistant, and the sides are smooth, and it would be very easy in a structure like this to be able to actually reach up and get your hands into each and every nest. I think it's something that has been lost in our modern world, you know, um, it's only in recent times that people have not been able to provide uh, for their own substance. Instead, we, we trade voluntary servitude or slavery jobs 
uh, for purchasing our food, for getting the things we want, and then we spend all of our years servicing somebody else's industry so that they make the fortune and we survive. And a dovecote is a step in the direction of returning to traditional wisdoms and freedom. If you found this information intriguing or interesting and useful, I invite you to click the link below in the description and check out the Survive and Thrive blueprint that teaches this kind of subject to allow us to immediately, whether we have prepped or not, whether we have a lot or not, move on to the land and provide for 100% of our survival needs, but then to begin to thrive because we're in a better position to then do what our heart desires and to seek out those things that truly fulfill us and to give us the time to know what we even really want in life and the time to pursue our greatest interest and joy. Also, if you subscribe to the channel and click like and leave a comment, I'm going to use the Google ad uh, matrix to send just those people an ad. And the first person to click on that ad that pops up for you will win a free copy of the Introduction to Aircrete video course. Because, of course, building with aircrete is a really great way to build an insulated structure for your birds to allow them to uh, have a comfortable place to raise their young, to lay their eggs, to go out and return to without being overheated in the south or frozen in the north. Have yourself a really wonderful day.